A book on library shelves in the Anoka Hennepin School District is raising objections among some parents. A parents group is calling for the book Eleanor and Park to be banned. Reporter Sonia Goins explains why the book is causing so much controversy. The book Eleanor and Park got rave reviews from the New York Times, but some parents in the Anoka Hennepin School District don't want students to even open it. I think it's kind of dumb, <laughs> to be completely honest, because if people like it and it's actually getting people our age to read, you'd think that would be something that's wanted. Eleanor and Park is about a teenage romance between a boy and a girl. It also deals with bullying and domestic violence. Five media specialists in the district, including one at Champlain Park High, recommended the book for its summer reading program, but that didn't sit too well with the parents' action lead. The parents objected to the profanity in the book, and they did not feel the story was appropriate for high school level students. Right. The parents' group said it counted more than 200 obscenities in the book. On its webpage, the parents' action lead said, quote, this book is littered with extreme profanity and age-inappropriate subject matter that should never be put in the hands and minds of minor children, much less promoted by educational institutions and staff we entrust to teach and protect our children. They're asking the district to pull the book. We are working through um, the book challenge process. So whenever a parent or guardian or community member challenges a book, uh, they fill out a form that goes to the school and the school puts together a review committee. Opponents of the Eleanor and Park book not only want the book removed from the shelves, they also want the librarians who suggested the book to be disciplined. That would be private data, whether or not there would be discipline for a, for a teacher, so I can't respond to that question. What concerns me about PAL is that they made these choices, again, without talking to the professionals involved. I think they looked at every single word, but it's clear they didn't read the story. The book controversy also created a firestorm on Twitter. One person said, as someone who grew up fat and bullied in the Anoka Hennepin School District, I know they need Eleanor and Park. Another said, having parents ban Eleanor and Park isn't going to stop teens from being exposed to profanity or much worse. At this point, no decision has been made. A lot of people are jumping to the conclusion that we have banned the book, and that is not the case. The book remains in our libraries at this point. In Brooklyn Park, Sonia Goins, 12 News. The author of the book was supposed to make an appearance at Anoka Hennepin Schools, but the district says it had to cancel the visit due to a money issue. Meanwhile, it will be several weeks before a decision is made on the book challenge.